Moved by Mr. De Silva, second by Mr. Trujillo. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, roll call, Mr. Kennedy. Burgos. Yes, as amended. Castillo. Yes, as amended. Abstain, item number two. De Silva. Yes, as amended. De Noso. Yes, as amended. Gonzalez. Yes, as amended. Ferrer. Yes, as amended. Trujillo. Yes. That's Yes, as amended. At 4B, use of facilities with usage fees. Move the report. We can get to BB, right? Yes. Second. Moved by Mr. Trujillo, second by Mr. Donoso. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, roll call, Mr. Kennedy. Burgos. Yes. Castilla. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Donoso. Yes. Gonzalez. Yes. Pereira. Yes. Trujillo. Yes. Master. Yes. 4C field trips. Move the report. Second. Moved by Mr. Gonzalez, second by Mr. Noso. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, roll call, Mr. Kennedy. Burgos. Yes. Castillo. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Noso. Yes. Gonzalez. Yes. Pereira. Yes. Trujillo. Yes. Master. Yes. 4CC supplemental uh, field trips. The report. Second. Moved by Mr. Gonzalez, second by Mr. Renoso. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, roll call. Burgos. Yes. Castillo. Yes. De Silva. Yes. Renoso. Yes. Gonzalez. Yes. Pereira. Yes. Trujillo. Yes. Master. Yes. Superintendent's report. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. Mr. Vice President, members of the board, members of the public, I am so pleased to report tonight many of the excellence that is occurring in our schools by our students and our team members. Uh, Terrence C. Riley, school number seven, as we had indicated last month, uh, has been named a 2011 National Blue Ribbon School by the United States Department of Education. Our Blue Ribbon Schools are an example of what excellent teachers and high-performing students can achieve, stated Board of Education Vice President Fernando Nasco. We are very proud of this high achievement and the efforts of everyone at this award-winning school. The United States Department of Education named 304 schools as 2011 National Blue Ribbon Schools. Riley is one of 14 schools selected in the state of New Jersey and, uh, to have been awarded this illustrious national recognition. The department will honor Principal Jennifer Sedaniel and the School 7 team at an award ceremony in Washington, D.C. The entire 255 public and 49 private schools will be presented their National Blue Ribbon School Awards at a conference and awarded the Blue Ribbon School flag and engraved plaque as symbols of their success. The Elizabeth Public Schools partners with Campus Crime Stoppers. At the beginning of the 2011-2012 school year, Union County Crime Stoppers officially launched its Campus Crime Stoppers program in all Union County middle and high schools. The program is the first formal and comprehensive school tips program in New Jersey, enlisting the assistance and support of students in 5th through 12th grades to keep county schools and communities safe from crime. It is administered by the Union County Crime Stoppers, a volunteer group of concerned citizens, and is supported by the Union County Prosecutor's Office and the law enforcement community. Ron Poisson, chairman of the Union County Crime Stoppers, noted that when the program first was first introduced to the county superintendents in May of 2010, the Elizabeth Public Schools immediately jumped on board and asked to have the program piloted there. The staff at, at the Elizabeth Public Schools was instrumental in designing the posters, the bookmarks, and handling the editing and duplication of the Union County Crime Stoppers DVD. Campus Crime Stoppers program 
is being launched at Elizabeth Public Schools during the School Violence Awareness Week, October 17th through the 21st. Any student, parent, teacher, or staff member who has information about a crime or a dangerous activity that has occurred, is occurring, or will occur at any school, can anonymously contact Campus Crime Stoppers to provide information. Tips can be submitted in three ways. By telephone at 908-654-TIPS, T-I-P-S, 908-654-8477. By texting U-C-T-I-P and the tip to 274-637-CRIMES or by submitting a form online at uctip.org. All tips remain anonymous. Elizabeth High School quarterback Philip P.J. Walker was named the MSG Madison Square Garden Varsity Tri-State Athlete of the Week for his 362 yards passing performance against state finalist Huntington Central High School. P.J. connected for four touchdown passes, including the game-winning throw of teammate Elijah Hughes with two minutes with under two minutes to play. The Elizabeth Varsity cheerleading team recently attended the Universal Cheerleaders Association training camp at Monmouth University in July. At the final competition at the camp, the Elizabeth High School cheerleaders earned first place in the home dance category, first place in Boston two, and fourth place overall camp champions. Most notably, the Elizabeth Varsity cheerleading team received the leadership award one of the most prestigious honors in Chile. The team received the leadership plaque in recognition for inspiring leadership on and off the field. At the midpoint of the college football season, former Elizabeth High School standout running back Ray Graham leads the Division I football bowl subdivisions, FBS, with 899 total rushing yards and ranks second with an average of 149.3 yards a game. Graham has run for over 100 yards in four games this season, including two games where he ran for over 200 yards. He needs just 101 yards to top 1,000 on the season. Graham has been a valuable, uh, has also been valuable as a receiver out of the backfield. He leads the team with 27 receptions. In his most recent game, which he played against his brother, former Elizabeth High School and Rutgers linebacker Basim Green, he rushed for 165 yards and a touchdown on 24 carries and caught two passes for 19 yards in a 34 to 10 loss at Rutgers. iPads at Elizabeth High School. Students at Elizabeth High School are utilizing iPads as a way of innovating, exploring, and creating in honors and advanced placement classes. The iPads provide for a more interactive experience than the traditional laptop and computers. Students use touch, gestures, and finger swipes to highlight, magnify, and manipulate images, text, and numbers. Not only is the interactivity a plus, but there are many apps that provide a richer version of material in the textbook or material presented traditionally in class. Apps like Khan Academy, Solar Walk, and Elements bring to life content in some of the traditionally more rigorous classes. Students can see three-dimensional graphical representation of math equations and the periodic table. They can carry out stunning dissections of animals in biology class. And Khan Academy allows students to do 2,415-minute chalk talk lectures done by Sal Khan to funding from the Gates Foundation. Elizabeth High School has over 100 iPads and plans to use them in all classes, including art and music. Students and team members are excited about the opportunity to teach and learn in a more engaging manner. On September 12th, Williams uh, Woodfield Scott School held a memorial to commemorate the events of uh, September 11, 2001. At, uh, on October 6th, Juan Pablo Duarte Jose William Martí School, number 28, Free Kindergarten class with uh, Mrs. Stacy Marshall and Mrs. Deanna Lugo participated in the Pearson Foundation Jumpstart Read for the Record to show their support for early literacy. In commemoration of a 10-year anniversary of 9-11, students at that Richard Maglov School Number 21 and William F. Hall Howell School Number 22 participated in several activities. Juan Pablo Duarte, Jose Julian Martí, School Number 28, recently celebrated their autumn field day in their beautiful field. 
October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and team members at Morris School Number 12 will recognize this important event by participating in Denim Day. First grade students at Dr. Albert Einstein Academy School 29 learn about the history, heritage, and food surrounding Rosh Hashanah. Mrs. Lehman read Sammy Spider's first Rosh Hashanah, which explained the significance of the Jewish New Year, the symbols involved, and the food served during the Rosh Hashanah celebration. The New Jersey Department of Agriculture has awarded eight Elizabeth Public Schools with a grant to participate in a fresh fruit and vegetable program for 2011-12 uh, school year. Only 101 schools were awarded this grant to participate throughout the state. The goals of the fruit and vegetable program are to increase children's fruit and vegetable consumption, create healthier schools, promote wellness, and change children's diets to impact their future health. Some of the many varieties of fruit and vegetables that will be served are pineapple, plums, broccoli, avocados, Green beans, cucumbers, tangerines, passion fruit, and cherries. These healthy, fresh fruits and vegetables will be served to the students in classrooms as snacks daily. Congratulations to schools, Winfield Scott number two, Amor number 12, Benjamin Franklin number 13, Abraham Lincoln number 14, Madison Monroe number 16, William F. Halloran, uh, school number 22, Victor Madlife, school number 21, Francis Smith, Early Childhood Center School, number 50. On September 28th, President Obama delivered his nationally televised back-to-school speech to students across America. Third grade students in Ms. Stuckey's class at Robert Morris School, number 18, were asked to listen carefully and pay attention uh, to the President's words. Students were also instructed to take notes on what President Obama was saying, as well as things they would put into practice this year, and what they would like to thank him for. At the conclusion of the speech, students discussed the President's speech, they were, uh, what they found most interesting, and what statements made by the President would encourage them to be successful. During the writing, writing workshop period, the students used their notes and ideas from the class discussion to write a formal letter to the president thanking him for his inspirational message. Aaron Devaney, Union County Teacher of the Year. Aaron Devaney, a fourth grade teacher at Dr. Orlando Dreher Academy was selected the Union County Teacher of the Year for the 2011-2012 school year. Ms. Devaney has been a teacher at one of our schools, Dr. Orlando Adrera Academy, school number 26, for 10 years. Her passion for teaching and her love for her students has provided this gifted teacher with the tools necessary to provide excellent educational experiences for all students who are lucky enough to have her as their teacher. Ms. Devaney has a special love for science and math, where her students' scores were among 90% proficient and advanced proficient in both areas. Ms. Devaney has been a central figure at Dr. Orlando Adrera Academy. She is part of the Academy for the Leadership in Science Education Instruction Team, representing School 26. Ms. Devaney teaches in the after-school program and is a member of the School Transformation Team. Ms. Devaney also was also the school curriculum writer for the International Baccalaureate Primary Years Program that School 26 will be implementing this school year. Those of you that want to keep in, uh, in touch with the Elizabeth Public Schools, you can continue to see us on YouTube, EPS TV Live tonight, and follow us on Facebook. As college application season uh, sessions approach, Seniors are filled with questions about that will impact the next four years of their life. Harry Levin from Yale University was more than happy to come to Elizabeth High School to answer some of those questions. In a 45-minute interactive information session on September 26th, Elizabeth High School student, seniors had the opportunity to learn about the application process, financial support, and programs offerings available at Yale University. 
Although seniors entered, entered with some apprehension about applying to Yale, they left with a positive feeling about the application process. Robert Barr, school number 18, hosted his first student council election. Candidates for the position presented speeches while sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students listened and weighed their options. In the end, only four special students won the titles. Treasurer Kayla Fermin, Secretary Gloria Morales, Vice President Jessica Wilmer, and Class President Valerie Jones. Albert Einstein Academy School number 29 held a pep rally to celebrate school spirit and begin working towards the vision of being the best school in the Elizabeth Public Schools District. Madison Monroe School number 16 Science Leadership Team, Joe Katina and Jim Flem turned key several techniques that they learned at the Merck Institute Science Leadership Conference in August. The information was shared with the first grade team members through a lesson given to grade one students from their full option science system, FOSS module. Students explored movement and images of their shadows. Pre-kindergarten and kindergarten students at Albert Einstein Academy School number 29 learned about fire safety from the Elizabeth Firefighters of Engine number six. Johnny Dwyer Technology Academy was among eight New Jersey schools approved and accepted to participate in school HIV prevention assist two. Robert Moore, school number 18, students in Miss Sutherland's seventh grade class, math class, discussed the newly named school mascot. Video, the data-driven instruction owl. They learned that there are over 100 species of owls. Admiral William F. Halsey Junior Leadership Academy celebrated the achievement of a bronze award awarded by the Alliance for a Healthier Generation at their open house. Mabel G. Holmes, school number five, celebrated Respect Week. Second grade students in Ms. Santilli's art class were asked, how do you show respect? <coughs> a discussion was led and students formulated different ideas about respect. What does respect look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like when you are respectful? Where should we be respectful? School number 12 acknowledged the week of respect with an informative assembly on anti-bullying and respect. On Wednesday, October uh, 5th, Donald Stewart School number 51, students and team members were making waves with Leonardo and the Making Waves Band with the use of songs and movement with interactive anti-bullying assembly educated the students in the areas of kindness, cooperation, respect, and friendship. Golf is in full swing at the Elizabeth Public Schools this fall, expanding on an already successful golf program in several of the district schools the Elizabeth Public Schools launched golf instruction in all K-8 schools. The expansion program called Golf in Schools was made possible through a new partnership with the New Jersey Golf Foundation. Assistant Executive Director of the New Jersey PGA, Chris Hunt, Director of Athletics, Judy Finch Johnson, and the Elizabeth High School golf coach, Russ DeMayo, have been working together since February to launch the Golf in Schools program in Elizabeth on a grand scale. The Elizabeth Board of Education approved the program in June of this year to provide greater opportunities for sports and fitness to the students of Elizabeth. Chris Hunt stated, we have been working with a few schools in Elizabeth since 2006, and it only made sense to do everything in our power to bring our school, our golf and schools program to the entire district. The New Jersey Golf Foundation is excited to take on this large project and we are confident the students in Elizabeth will benefit from the golf instruction and life lessons that will be incorporated into their physical education curriculum. Christopher Columbus School number 15 students and team members are starting their school year on, on the right track. The Healthier Alliance team is keeping students and team members moving Throughout the day, at 3.05 each day, the entire building takes it just a minute to get up and add exercise to the daily routine. Please stay in touch with the Elizabeth Public Schools. You can follow us on our website at www.epsnj.org.
That is the conclusion of my first report. My second report is a video uh, that um, references the campus crime stoppers. Um, this was produced uh, with the University of Public Schools Assistance, and uh, we will show it here for the board and the public at home. <laughs> 